Hello guys, welcome to Simple Programming channel. I hope this tutorial finds well. Today we will mainly work on our first program. Um, if you are new on the ch in the channel, if uh, you come across my channel and like the content, subscribe if you'd like to and don't forget to turn the notification button on so that you get notified whenever there is something uh, new. Before we step through programming, um, I would like to highlight something we have done in the previous video, which is the relation between JDK and NotBeans. So let's see it. So let's suppose that you have a plumbing project in your apartment, like the one that shows up here on screen. For that, you need to call a plumber, a skilled plumber, of course, as the one here, Mr. James. And for Mr. James, in order to perform his task, he needs tools. Because without tools, no matter how skillful he is, it's impossible for him to work. Because, you know, guys, um, in order to bend uh, this pipe, for instance, he needs tools in order to install this gate valve he needs tools in order to install the washing machine he needs tools and so on and so forth so basically this is how you can think of the relation between NetBeans and Java Development Kit JDK because in order to build a software we need to use tools and of course um, the tools user here is the programmer but we need to use them for something which is the editor the NetBeans in our case so I hope you understand this to some extent let's dive now into the main part of this tutorial which is creating our first program to create a program in Java first of all you need to create a new project for that go to file here click on it new project click on it this window will show up here create on java with an java application hit next another window will show up so here we have the project name let's give it the name my first program uh, just an information guys, if your project name contains uh, more than one word, uh, just keep them connected to each other and start each new word with a capital letter, like in our case here, first is capitalized and program is capitalized. Here is your project location, mm, you can save your project wherever you want, just click on browse here and customize your uh, project's location. Uh, third thing here is that we need to uncheck this box because as a beginner in Java we don't need Java to auto-generate uh, any part of our program and if you let this box check like that it's gonna auto-generate uh, what we call the main method which is um, the most important method uh, in our program in order to run uh, the program. So just uncheck it because we would like to write it manually. Okay, once you're done, hit finish and our class is going to be applied as you can see here. Create a new project. Now, here, if you see in the left side, our project is. Uh, created just click on plus here to get a little bit familiar with uh, this this is your source package or source packages if you have more than one package we don't need to worry about the word package right now because um, we don't need it and here we have default package because we didn't create any so in order to write uh, our code our program we need a class in Java and to create a class just click here on default package new and create Java class this window shows up here new or class name so let's give the name to our class let's say first program and hit finish 
and our class applaud okay here is our class this is the output console here let's put it down just delete these comments because we don't need them they are auto generated too so this is what we need to care about this is your class it always starts by public class and the class name and it matches with the class name here dot java the java is the extension of your class and the class limits are between these two places now pretty much every code uh, we need to type is going to be typed here between these two braces there is one exception which we will see later i don't want to talk about it right now now the second step we should do is to write our main method also you don't need to worry about the word main just keep in mind that this main method is very important and without it we cannot run our program so let's create our main method just follow me type public static void main parenthesis write string with capital S brackets and arcs open embrace hit enter and it will close automatically as a beginner uh, every instruction every line of code is going to be written inside the main method our goal today is to print something on the screen and here's the point um, we get back to the tools I talked about previously like in order to print something on the screen we need to use a tool that Java provides us but before you write the code let's see something important we're gonna talk about the tools again as we have already said the GDK provides us with the tools we need to build our software now as you see here in the chart the GDK has a collection of programming tools and it also has uh, a two important components which are GRE and GVM GRE is the abbreviation of Java Runtime Environment and GVM is the abbreviation of Java Virtual Machine. Right now, we don't need to give down about these two. All what we need to focus on is this part, Java Class Library. So what is Java Class Library? As its name indicates, it's a library with a huge number of classes which are pre-written by the Java team and they are free to use by the programmer. Now, how does Java organize this class library? Here you can see I represented the Java class library by this blue rectangle. The library now contains what we call packages. Package 1 here, package 2, package 3, and I put the dots here to indicate that there are much more packages and each package groups a set of classes that are pre-written by the java team as uh, i said and we use them for uh, building our softwares i just wrote package one package two package three and class one two three and so on and so forth just to talk about the general case but you should know that uh, every package has its own name and every class has its own name now, how do you use these classes in our programming projects? In order to use these classes, we need to import them. And there are two categories of classes. There are classes which are implicitly imported by default and classes which are explicitly imported. Now, the implicitly imported packages are packages which are by default imported um, we don't need to write any code to import them 
we have direct access to the classes just by writing the class name in the editor and you will see that in our tutorial today example the system class which we will use later on from the java link package and the explicitly imported packages or classes in order to import them we need to write a line of code and we will see that in next tutorials in order to get access to the classes of the package example the scanner class um, from java util package we use scanner class in order to set an input and you will see that um, in uh, coming tutorials now we are back to our class and we will see practical exploitation of uh, the system class because we need to print something on screen let's say that we want to print this expression hello world this is my first program in java for that the system class in java which is implicitly imported as we said we don't need to do anything to import to import it we just need to type its name so let's write system system with a capital S be aware now you might ask yourself um, uh, how can I know the function of each class that comes with experience and time so don't worry now after you type system hit the dot here and when you hit dot not means is smart enough to guess what sort of uh, functions you want in our case we need out and this out kind of indicates it gives you description here if you want to um, read um, but we briefly talk about out like it's a print stream like I want to get an output so hit out hit enter sorry and another dot now after this dot it gives you all the functionalities inside the class system we need to print something for that we call um, one of the functionalities which is called print it's actually a method we don't need to worry about the meaning of method right now but it is just um, a functionality that enables us to print something on screen on the console here so write your or write your print and parentheses and here write your text hello world this is my first program in java now we are done with writing the code um, before you run the program save save your program or save the changes by clicking ctrl and s once you're done with that go to the run button here the green one here and click on it and hit ok here your first program is running mm, should we a little bit and here is our output hello world this is my first program in java so we did it we printed something on a screen on a console here but what's a little bit annoying is that we don't uh, need this uh, auto generated message to be stuck to our text it doesn't look uh, beautiful we want this auto generated message to start from the next line okay don't worry about that java gives you this tool just go back to your code and add ln to print and run again your code and here is our result hello world this is my first program in java and build successful um, is printed uh, from the next line now what is the difference between print line and print actually when you write print if you have something to print it's gonna be printed here and if there's something else to be printed it's gonna be 
printed from just here where my cursor is and uh, regarding println when you write um, println your uh, output is gonna be printed and if there is something else to be printed it's gonna start uh, from the next line like in our case here we can see another example like system or just copy and paste it's too important in programming let's write here simple programming run your program here here is our output you can see here hello world this is my first program in java and it's printed in a single line and same thing for simple programming we can also print an arithmetic result of so for example let's say let's uh, set uh, an addition operation 4 plus 8 and the result is 12 obviously and java will do the task here is our result um, every result is printed in a single line so now I expect that you are a little bit familiar with the system class and with at least two of its functionalities or the print functionality and the print land functionality and here ends our tutorial for today see you in another tutorials goodbye